Well, teams are clashing, Josh, and it's time to play. Let's see what the New York Excelsior have got up their sleeves. They are taking quite a bit of damage early on. Savio Obi opens up, though, with the pick one to shoot. It's going to be removing all of the healing. Traded out, though, as mana will fall. But Happy now going to be searching for the shots. Will not find them. Animo is there. And it is a brawl in the upper section of the mecha base. But it looks like New York are coming out on top. And it is the right color of blue if you're a New York fan. This next fight is going to be a big ult exchange, I think. Unless someone manages to find a pick really early on. Shadow laid down. It connects onto a couple of targets. There's more than enough for the New York Excelsior to take full advantage of. And look at that shield. I believe Mano there was trying to break the line aside. If that still works with the Immortality Field. In the back line. And now Guangzhou forced to try and make some moves of their own. Libero does go down. As he was using the Blizzard aggressively. But the Blizzard going down. That was what he was aiming for. That was the win condition. New York take full advantage of it. And they're able to just clean them up. He was the only casualty. Guangzhou Charge have still not had an opportunity to use a single ult. Because again, and New York are playing high tempo. They're playing aggressive they with their ultimates. from under, Josh. Can they even touch this one? I don't... I can't! Oh my word. <laughs> yep. the ice it's are new be New York. Early on, it is a new New York. Look at this, Sabi Obi on the flank, just peppering in the shots from the sidelines. And it is an even exchange. The bodies are going to be falling equally on either side here. As there is a bit of ring around the rosies. Maybe always just trying to hit these shots off. The ice lock going to be forced out here. The peel necessary though. As you can see, they're moving in. Flashbang does not connect. There's Charo who claims two. So Bongjo Charge finally going to be getting the opening that they needed. And as soon as they pick off these. Puts down the blizzard though. It's going to force Guangzhou back. They cannot play into it. Still, no one has unlocked the point. Sambar are now going to be committed here by Guangzhou. As they're trying to just lead it into them. Along with the blizzard. So many ultimates being expended. But they will eventually clean up this point and take it in their favor. At least they should theoretically. As soon as Libero ends up falling, which he does. So they do flip it in their favor. But real being pressured. Krong has to use the South Destruct just to take some of the heat away from him. You can see him getting stunned up there in the blizzard. The Immortality Field gone. The charge into the back line means that Rio will be falling. And look at Libero just hitting these fadeaway shots. Absolute magic before our very eyes. Looks like New York are going to be able to clean up the rest of these players here. Nero does get the ice block off onto the corner of the point. So this is going to be building up crucial percentage. Just necessary enough. And he will go down in the end. But they've stalled it out now. Over 80% encounter for Guangzhou. Even if they lose this team fight, they're going to be quite happy if they manage to get it all the way to 99. Yeah, definitely. A, a good stall for the Guangzhou charge. And they've built up their ultimates as well. They didn't necessarily force any out of the new first raw engagement to find who's in control for the whole of the rest of the map. The blocks now used by Hopper, and it sends a couple of the players up. And now we see the Earth Shadow. Mana was caught in the corner. He had to use something to try and get out of that scenario. But it's chaos in the close quarters here. Krongdo uses his little micro rockets, and he will find the two kills. Yeah. Final moment play from New York. Those are the kind of clutch plays you need to be able to get back in a game like this. Another engagement. Nice wall comes out. Separates Sleep Happy and Nero. Onto Happy. He knocks him out. And Sabi Obi is set up for the kill. The fire strike laid into them. Guangzhou are in trouble here. They're pinned against the walls. Nice Bionade as well. Connects onto Shu. And this has been Jonak really playing up to such a high level here. Mano has the BM charge. He tried to knock him off the map there. Krong, the last man standing on the Guangzhou charge. He's going to get demeked, and that's going to be map number one going to New York Excelsior. That is some damage, and that's one thing that this, this composition of Guangzhou running has in spades, and it's damage across the board. But Hopper's taking these aggressive off angles here, and he's forcing the positioning of Guangzhou. They can't really push too far forward, but Jonak does end up going down. Stray Icicle from Nero finds what he was looking for, and that gives an opportunity for Guangzhou to just jump onto the remnants of whatever was left. The New York Excelsior. Yep. It's actually uh, Who Are You who's come in to play the May here as well. So, a lineup change for NYXL. Which, I mean, it looks like it isn't working out so well for them at the beginning, but I think that was more to do with how the Gauntra Charge played their composition on the offense. Sure. Not so much of uh, the mistakes coming. Moving around the map, trying to get these pickups where they can. Trying not to drop any of their players. Bob's going to be getting a bit of presence onto the point and now we see the Gravitic Flux. A bit of a clutch attempt here from Hopper. He sends in the accretion but it's not going to be connecting onto any targets. Meanwhile though, New York is splitting them apart and Who Are You comes in from the side angles. On the Doomfist, finds two kills. Libero from on high. 
has the line of sight, he has the angles, and he's taking full advantage of it. Guangzhou Charge only getting a tick out of it. Equal here with Nero. The ult's in favor of New York, and so Guangzhou looking to try and put up some kind of fight to force those out in this uh, engagement. But with Shu dropping and the Immortality Field dying, this is not looking good. Yeah. The flanks coming out from Hopper and Libero are really making it difficult for the Guangzhou Charge to get any kind of good positioning. I think this is going to be a situation where Guangzhou... And now you can see the positioning of Mano. He's hiding around the corner. He's waiting to try and fade him out with the Earth Shadow. The Ice Wolf comes up. Earth Shadow laid down by Mano, but gets blocked in the end. Happy with the Deadeye leads it in, finds the kill. The Blizzard is going to be locking them all up. See if there's any sort of clutch potential. It looks like the Guangzhou Charge might be doing it. Libero and Mano fall. Soundbarrier from the Guangzhou Charge is going to be giving them the health points necessary to complete this capture as they get the second tick. No players remaining on the point. Guangzhou Charge will be able to get a full charge. How do they want to try and regress into them here? It's going to be hard to when they're surrounded by New York. New York all over them. And this is potentially worst case scenario for Guangzhou Charge. Losing this point without New York using any ultimates whatsoever. It means that they can now move into the second point as soon as they capture this one up with a, a Dragon Blade, potentially a Nano Boost. So much to work with right now for New York. Oh, New York were our premier. Don't doing any damage, and now it's going to be the engagement. You can see this Nano ready and waiting. It's unleashed. Who are you? has got it. And oh my word, we're going for it. The Earth Shadow from Rio, though. It connects up to three, but it's too little too late as Who Are You? With a quick slash is able to bring down Rio. He gets two kills with the Dragon Blade and the Nana Boost on top of it. They're pushing them away right now, and Kongjo are un unable to touch any sort of section of the leaders. Hopper now with his Primal Rage to really pop off. He's going to start knocking them about. But nice Earth Shadow from Rio shuts it down. New York don't want to continue fighting this. They're using the sound barrier, seeing what they can get done. And they get quite a lot done in the end. It turns they use out. Nano? Happy. Why did Jonak Nano? N Jonak, I. I'm not too sure, Josh, why he used the Nano there, because, well, the win condition for New York is out the window, and suddenly, the longer this goes on, the more chance New York have of winning. That's true, the spawn advantage is definitely going to be in favor of that. Another, oh, another one! Oh no, Kwong, still at this boost is available, but now Who Are You opens up, Char and Happy both fall! This who could are be you? it for New York. They only need a single tick. Only need a single tick. Rio with the charge from absolutely nowhere. He connects it onto Libero, he collects the kill, Animodo trading out, and this is definitely scrappy Overwatch, it's not quite what we're used to seeing, at least from what we saw from that previous series. But New York are getting the job done slowly but surely, just need a couple of more openings, another Nano Boost built up for Jonak very early on, Who Are You does not need the blade to take care of it, and business is as you make mistakes by playing at high tempo, but when the rest of your team isn't on the same page, it would be rough to do that. Now Mano. He gets the Nano Boost, he's going to get frozen up though, so he gets negated in the end. Happy just has to hit this shot on the Jonak, will eventually do it. You're going to find that the Guangzhou Charger happily able to clean up the rest of the New York Excelsior. Going to start Without to using an ult as well. The Sunfire though will connect. Sleep Dart doesn't connect from Jonak though. We're going to see the Blizzard being utilized as well as the Earth Shatter. Finally with the ultimate being used by Guangzhou, the signs are converted into some capture percentage. Looking like a one fight for them as soon as they clean up the last few members of the New York Excel. And uh, could not find a better time to do it with only 40 seconds remaining. One minute left. Guangzhou have to play aggressive with ults again. They've got Deadeye, that's going to zone a little bit, and then Nero's building up to his Blizzard. If they can use these ults aggressively, they can execute and they will be under cap point B. Uh, okay, Earth Shadow going to be used by Mano there. And it connects onto one, but one is all you need. The charge comes out, but the immortality field kept them alive and didn't allow New York to get the pickoffs that they needed. Guangzhou charge, finding every sing everything going their way, so to speak. As goes up again, 40 seconds remain onto it. Still an opportunity for Guangzhou to try and come back into this now, as the players have come back. And now Happy switching over to the Widowmaker to try and clutch this one. A lot is going to be on his shoulders to try and make this one work. Sabi Obi goes down. Look at Hopper, just trying to use his shield to block the line of sight of Happy. The accretion is going to be faded away, but it's going to be the Sleep Dart now going to be used by Shu, knocks him out. Happy's still in this fight, and they're desperately trying to put pressure onto him. But while this is all going down, New York Excelsior, they focus on the front line, and they stop them in their tracks. Stunned up, he's just trying to swing, see if he can find a kill. Lord almighty, Nero falls so, so low, forces out the immortality field, comes from the back ropes! What? Mano! 
That is filthy! Get that off my screen, lad! It's too early in the morning for this, or is it too late at night? It's hard to tell at this point because he is just winning the fight for his team. Look at, Look at this. this. They almost kill Nero. Great peel from the Guangzhou charge. Oh, beautiful. But Rio, Rio has to block. He has to block the damage coming from the front because Nero is so weak. There's no chance that he can block that. Opportunities for Mana to try and hit something here. He's in the off angles. The Earth Shadow laid down by Rio. He finds. Oh, he does find Libero onto the ground, but not much else. And we see the sound barrier being used by Guangzhou. I've got to say, fight seems to be going their way as Jonak and Sebiobi will fall. Finally, some stroke of. Uh, or some signs of life, I should say, from the Guangzhou charge, able to at least stop. Yeah, he's actually doing a decent job of distracting some people, and Jonak's gone down. This could be winnable here for the Guangzhou charge. They've got a dead eye, but Nero, this. it really is Rio and Nero. They need to get their ults up. Try and find some sort of value here. I think he's doing a good job of just clearing off that high ground right now. Pumping in consistent damage, but so is Sadie Obi. Stray headshot will do a lot of work. Flashbang, the peel is there, but New York coming out on top once more. They are going to be able to cap this one. They still have a Nana Boost to be able to work with here. Happy Earth Shatter. And Rio. Yeah, Rio using the Earth Shatter there doesn't find what he's looking for. I think the Ice Wall of Nero actually ended up blocking this one, but it's going to be the one for one trade. Nero or Krong using his self destruct into the back line there takes out Mano, but New York are finding all the pickups now. And this is looking very, very dangerous right now for the Guangzhou Charge. They've lost way too many players. Very uncomfortable scenario. And it's over.